Well, in the last video, I cleaned out my coolant tank and I talked a little bit about the pH being off. So I decided to go ahead and pick, uh, pick up one of these refractometers. Uh, this particular model is from Teco Plus and here's the model number for it. Yeah, it's a pretty nice unit. I got this off Amazon. It was around $25 with shipping. It comes with a couple of extra syringes and this little USB LED light. I'm not sure if I'll use it, but it was just thrown in here. I'll put the link to this supplier on the video description. comes with a nice hard case and it seems to be a fairly well-made unit comes with a cleaning cloth and instructions here and it was pretty simple to set up you have your calibration screw at the top and your eyepiece which adjusts uh, so you can focus it and then you take this little rubber cap off and you have a calibration screw here comes with a couple of uh, syringes and you just basically put a couple of drops about three drops of your coolant on there then you look through it and this chart pops up and you get you want to calibrate it so that it's on the zero line, the, the, the separation between the white and the blue is on the zero line. Now the instructions call for you to calibrate this with distilled water. However, if you're not going to use distilled water in your coolant, then use whatever water you're going to be mixing with your coolant to calibrate it with. Otherwise, it'll just kind of throw it off. So. I'm going to be using distilled water, so I'm going to use that to do my calibration. Um, basically what you do is you just take a syringe, you get a couple of drops of distilled water, make sure your lens is clean there, and you just put a couple of drops on there, like so. And then flip the lens down, make sure it doesn't have any bubbles in it. If it does, you can put another drop on there. You just want it nice and coated. Then you want to look through it and you want to adjust this calibration screw until you get the horizon of the blue and the white line across the zero. Uh, that's all there is to it. And then you have it calibrated for whatever mixture, either distilled water or uh, whatever tap water you're going to be using. And that's all there is to it. Um, then you just clean the lens off. And you can take your coolant and drop it on there and check your uh, refractive index. Now this measurement is in bricks on a bricks scale, B-R-I-X. Um, you can focus with the eyepiece here. It's a very well made unit and I think this is going to help alleviate some of the issues that I've had in the past with the imbalance of the pH. Now, even though I mix my coolant per manufacturer's recommendations, um, for the cool mist, it was four ounces per gallon of water. Time, the mixture gets diluted, the water evaporates, and you end up with coolant that is not mixed correctly. And the only way to check your old coolant, the remaining coolant, and see what the refractive index is so that you know what how much coolant to add versus water and what dilution percentage you want to add 
uh, to refresh it. The only way to do that is with a refractometer. So I went ahead and invested in this. I didn't think I would need it originally, but I really don't see any way around it. Now, just to give you an example, this is the cool mist that I pulled out of the coolant tank. It was completely full. I had just refreshed it. And this was mixed at a ratio of four ounces to a gallon of water over the last 12 months or so since I've been running it. This is a completely fresh batch of cool mist that was mixed four gallons, uh, four ounces to a gallon, and you can completely see the difference in color. Now the refractive index on this, when I measured it, was 2.6. The cool mist per mixed per manufacturer's recommendation was a 0.6 on the brick scale. So you can see that they were off, even though I mixed this exactly like this and added it to the coolant every time I redid it uh, and topped it off. It still got off uh, by 2.0. So that's not really the way to go, I don't think, when mixing your coolant. It's better to have the refractometer so you can get it accurately. Now, it's a pretty good unit. And I highly recommend it. Seems to work just fine for uh, what I'm going to be using it for. Uh, if you're interested in this, again, I'll post the link in the video description. I guess that'll wrap up this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions or questions, please feel free to comment. If you're interested in any of my CNC conversion plans, you can stop by the website. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And most importantly, be safe.